Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, we got some interesting things here. We see a NASA photo captures moving alien vessel on Mars. So claims a UFO expert. And um, you guys decide, because it is kind of curious, right? You see this right here. And this, by the way, is Terry's Theories. And so we'll show him some love. And, you know, if you don't do this, you're not going to, you might not get any notifications if you don't click the bell. So this is a newer channel and he's just doing some research and, you know, okay, that looks like something hovering. Um, I see daylight below it and there's daylight all around it. So it does look like something hovering. Is that an illusion? The desert can give you a lot of illusions. We know that. And this is supposed to be Mars. Is this really Arizona? Uh, that's another question for you as well. You know, there's a lot of things here uh, that are interesting. This is the same section and it's not there. So curious, you know, that is a curiosity. And so this is out of ibtimes.com. And um, again, there's a link right there. So, yeah, you know, it's, it talks about possible explanations. Is it? Just a speck of dust on the lens of the rover's camera. I don't think so. You know, do you guys think so? Does that look like a speck of dust? Mm, nah, I, I, I don't think so. But, you know, there's a lot of strange things going on. And many people are suspicious of Tom DeLong, of course. And, you know, <laughs> with... With all that we know that is interconnected between the entertainment industry and the powers that be, of course, you know, we're going to be suspicious. So why is Tom DeLonge's UFO group partnering with the U.S. Army? It is. And to the STARS Academy of Arts and Science, the UFO research group owned and operated by former Blink-182 guitarist Tom DeLonge is making new strides in the world of military-sponsored extraterrestrial research. The organization has announced a new partnership with the U.S. Army, which allows the two groups to collaborate on future research. As Gizmodo and Business Insider point out, collaboration allows the Army's Ground Vehicle Systems Center and Ground Vehicle Survivability and Protection access to TTSA research on material science, space-time metric engineering, quantum physics, beam energy propulsion, and other jargon-filled, sciencey things which may enhance survivability and the effectiveness of multiple army systems, according to a press release. Our partnership with the TTSA serves as an exciting, non-traditional source for novel materials and transformational technologies to enhance our military ground systems capabilities. Dr. Joseph Cannon of U.S. Army Futures Command shared in a press release, at the Army's Ground Vehicle Systems Center, we look forward to this partnership and the potential technical innovations forthcoming. And so this alliance marks the latest victory for DeLong's organization, which has proven to be anything but the punchline that some jur journalists initially expected it to be. In 2017, TTSA was cited in New York Times' report on the Pentagon's $22 million program for UFO research, the report pointed to the existence of mysterious metal alloys as potential evidence of UFOs, which DeLong's organi organization later claimed to have acquired for investigative purposes. It appears that those metal alloys are responsible for the latest partnership, which the U.S. Army remains committed to investigating. As Gizmodo's Tom McKay points out, Cooperat Cooperative Research and Development Agreement, CRADA, allows the U.S. Army to verify claims made by TTSA about the alloy, alloys and begin research on quantum communication, beamed energy propulsion, and other stuff that definitely veers into science fiction territory. Pretty crazy for a guy who once sang the lyrics. Well, you could read what that is. So anyway, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, so the two the Stars Academy teaming with the U.S. Army and I got to feel, well, I do feel like the military industrial complex is asserting itself in so many ways and, you know, partnering with people like Tom DeLong and perhaps, you know, is perhaps they have their president and 
in power as well, as we've talked about the potential for conflict between these different factions of the powers that be. And, you know, is this all about disclosure? Is this all about, you know, militarizing space? Is this all like a big setup for that fake alien invasion that's coming? You know, it's it's really, really interesting. There was a movie on, and I forget the name of it, on Netflix, which was all about an alien invasion. And what it turned out to be was, you know, they were actually uh, U.S. soldiers <laughs> that were, you know, looking like a- aliens, dressed up as aliens. And so, you know, what's really going on? Meanwhile, everybody, it seems, is seeing weird things in the sky. And this is from Mimi. So what do you guys see here? Do you think there's anything cloaked here? I see faces everywhere, that's just me, but you know, we're in a matrix. I do believe we are in a matrix, and I think sometimes the programmers peek out and put their little smiley faces in spots and, uh, you know, get us to notice for those that are awake. And so this um, looks like one of those orbish type of things. And what do you guys make of this? It's circular. I've, we have seen a ton of these things in the sky, a, a ton. And some of them feel really like they're kind of alive and intelligent. And um, what do you guys see? Do you see anything here? Do you think it's a drone? Do you think this is some sort of being? And I know there's going to be some to say it's just an airplane just far far away you can't make out the wings what the hell is that all right come on so kind of interesting and so here is i took a screenshot and blow it blew it up so do you guys see anything i mean to me it looks like there's some energy around it here it, it looks to be spherical silverish and uh, it does look like there's some energy around the top of it. It's curious, most definitely. And then this is coming from around Lancaster, California. That thing is huge. So is this? It's like three planes in one. It's really weird. Is this just a normal plane? Is this oh, the military like testing like something? It looks kind of triangular. It was interesting when I was just starting to record this, I heard something very, very large go overhead. It kind of felt like a sonic boom was happening as well. You know, there's so many people out there that think that the moon is not what it seems, that it's actually some sort of base. That thing was huge. It's really, really big. And it's so another interesting one as well. So, my friends, keep sending your videos. Send us uh, whatever you want to send, and we'll go through them, take a look at them. Keep your eyes to the skies. Most definitely, there's a lot of things happening up there. And, you know, in my opinion, yeah, they are trickling out disclosure. Of course, you know, they're going to do it in such a way that perhaps is not going to give us the complete picture of what's really going on. So I look forward to your comments, and as always, I'll invite you to come over and join us on Patreon, and for just a dollar or more a month, you can support the channel and also get some videos that won't be up on YouTube, and also subscribe to both channels, EE Arts as well as Evolutionary Energy Arts, and make sure you click the bell, because now, with the way that the algorithms are, even if you subscribe and you don't click the bell to get all, uh, you might not get any, and that's just the way the computer system is set up now, and I was learning more about that this morning. So, my friends, as always, stay safe, stay alert, keep your eyes to the sky. God bless and namaste.